Christine Quinn, and I'm Speaker of the New York City Council. You know, the Victory Fund and the Gay and Lesbian Leadership Institute represent a lot of different things to me and the community in general and the community in politics. I mean, one, they're an entity you can go to if you're just generally interested in being part of the community's political work. Their training is terrific, and it's really important for people to understand you can get trained to run for office, but also to be staff politically or governmentally, which is really important, because we want to make sure we have representation at all different levels, and that we also have a pipeline of folks, kind of a deep bench, if you will, so we can have more folks continue to move forward and move up in politics. I think one of the biggest changes for, as it relates to openly LGBT people running for office, is that there are more. You know, it used to be that maybe you would have one or two in the country in any given cycle. Uh, there were maybe more than 150 folks who this last cycle ran, and of that number, 65% of them, the ones endorsed by the Victory Fund, won. Compare that to the Tea Party. 32% of their candidates won. 65% is an unbelievable number. And to have over 150 candidates, openly LGBT candidates, endorsed by the Victory Fund, which means they're not just candidates, but they're really viable candidates, sends a message, we're not where we want to be. But that's a lot of growth and that's a lot of political activity.